haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I actually was going to write out each point that this guy made, but I decided I'm just going to do a dissecting video because uh, I'm in the spirit too. And uh, yeah, so apparently there's uh, uh, this, this whole Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather business. Uh, taking place what sometime in August or something and people are still doing the same shit that they did before What do you mean before I'll get to that in a second? <sighs> see most people see this for what it is. It's just a cash grab uh, Connor can't make as much money working for his uh, Well, let me let me not bring race into it Actually, you know what? No, since so many people did bring race into it, you can look in the comments and bring in, and you can see people that are always talking about, oh, you're race baiting. They're, they keep bringing race into it. I'm going to bring race into it. Uh, Conor McGregor can't make anywhere near as much money as he can working for his white counterparts uh, in the UFC, so he has to go to a black man to go get his money, interestingly enough. Uh, and that's all this is, a cash grab. <laughs> I mean, Conor's going to make how much? If he loses, I mean, forget if he wins, but uh, if he loses, he's going to make how much? Which is probably more than he made in his entire time in the UFC, especially since they don't allow sponsors anymore. So everybody's pretty much kind of sucking Reebok's dick. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a cash fucking grab, and everybody except the select few seem to understand that. Now, I was going to go to uh, go through Red Pill Philosophy, his ass, um, on this, because he, yeah, uh, Jesus, but luckily from the comments, a lot of people seem to realize that he, you know his type, his kind, his ilk, so, um, <laughs> there's no point in going through that. Uh, everybody knows what he's about. Uh, but there's another one here. And his 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 tag his screen name is Mind Smash. Okay. Uh, Conor McGregor's chances versus Floyd Mayweather. Now this guy's kind of interesting because you actually think, based off what he says, and maybe that that voice kind of getting into the subconscious slightly, going past, uh, not forced momentum kind of thing, uh, that he might be right. But mm, no, uh, I see straight through it. And this is the one that I'm going to do the dissecting video of. Anybody who doesn't know my dissecting videos, I let it play, I pause it, and I interject my counterpoints. And I'm going to do this on the fly. Normally I script these... What the hell? Normally I script these out, but I'm going to do this one on the fly because, again, I'm in the spirit too. So, uh, let's, let's go through this, and then I'm going to wrap it up with just some common sense stuff. Uh, Mind Smash, Conor McGregor's Chances versus Floyd Mayweather. Let's get started. Hello. Floyd Mayweather, 49 wins with 26 KOs and 0 losses. Of course, with some controversy. People blame the judges, people blame him denying avoiding fights to maintain his record, but again, people say stuff like that about everyone regardless. Especially if the masses don't like your personality. Needless to say, amassing such a record in the professional world without even taking a knee, it's undeniable that the man's career has been stunning. Most people brush cotton to the curb, saying he doesn't really have a chance. Really, no chance at all. Yeah, really, no chance at all. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the reason why I agree with the masses, um, remember that thing that I said I'm going to wrap it up with some comments and stuff? Uh, keep that in mind for later. But, yeah, no chance at all, really. Let's keep going. Let's compile a few references, a bit of data, and reassess that a little bit. Let's be... Again. Hopefully your data is not like Red Pill Philosophy's data, where he goes to Donald Trump and politics and stuff and somehow tries to link that. Uh, people like him are the first ones, well, him and I guess the liberals, um, are the first ones to start talking about intellectual dishonesty, but yet the kind of matrix gymnastics that anyway let's keep going let's begin like you said size that's a lot for him to adapt to Connor's big he gets fucking hard he can go both ways there's something about that dude man. man I'm telling you there's something about that dude he's got something going on he's a much bigger man he's a much quicker too how big he is yeah very very quick but if you compare the two of them frame wise like what if they ever do do it and they're standing right at each other, looking down at each other, you know, doing eye to eye, you're gonna go, oh shit. Yeah, Connor's way. 
with Conor McGregor at 1.75 meters in height and Floyd at 1.72 meters in height. With a two-inch reach advantage, it may seem like Joe Rogan and Brendan Shaw have exaggerated a bit. But in a game of inches that operates a millisecond, every inch makes a significant difference to the outcome until that end. Conor is a much bigger man, especially when he can walk around at 174 pounds. He's done that before. Right. Now, considering... Um MMA and uh, specifically the Gracies from way the hell back that so many Gracie nut huggers, the entire Jiu Jitsu community or at least most of them and uh, really just people in general like to go around, I mean hell, there's no shortage of videos showing oh David beating Goliath, right? Uh, so it's not like we're going up against a 5 foot 100 pound person going up against a 7 foot 500 pound person, right? It's not like it's that. Uh, yeah, you're right. Game of inches, milliseconds matter. Okay, fine. Um, but this right here is not exactly uh, um, that significant. Uh, that being also said, haven't we been hearing that size doesn't matter? It's all dependent on the skill. I mean, size matter if they're equally if they are equally matched. That's the one thing that I've noticed. A lot of people have been saying if they're equally matched, then the size. Uh, gives you an advantage. They are not uh, e uh, equally matched in skill. They are not equally matched in skill. We have Conor McGregor with his size okay, uh, going up against Floyd Mayweather with his size in a sport that Floyd has been doing since he was a kid. That Floyd has been doing since probably before Conor was alive. Because I'm 30 years old. If I'm not mistaken, Conor is 28, 29. In fact, let's look that up. Leprechaun Lucky Charms. Let's see here. Uh, according to Wikipedia, this man is born July 14th, 1988. Okay, so he's about to be 29. Uh, so he's a, f he's a year, one to two years younger than I am. Okay. <laughs> So Mayweather's been boxing since before this guy, uh, to quote, um, who was it, Henzo Gracie? Uh, McGregor's been doing this since before, uh, 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 since while, while Conor was in his dad's nutsack. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I've been doing this while you were in your dad's nutsack. Okay? To quote Henzo, uh, yeah, so, um, um, yeah skill if if they're evenly matched but they're not evenly matched okay but let's keep going my fist is bigger than his head serious he's a malteser with eyeballs of course size should not be the sole determining factor when it comes to big especially when so many other factors are in play let's continue softball I know subpars have caused him a hell of a lot of trouble. Floyd has had a history of trouble with subpars and was even cruelly knocked down by one. That's right. Zab Jr. cleanly punched Floyd in the face, and Floyd cruelly touched his glove on the canvas. Maybe those hairs are right about Floyd having the judges or even the referee in this case on his side because that was 100% a knockdown. 100% his glove touched the ground. Well, let's back to the point. One of the reasons why Floyd took so long with my back is because of his history of trouble with softballs. He doesn't like them. Oscar Yellow Boy's father was Floyd, and Freddie Roach, Manny Pacquiao's trainer, both say the same thing. And that's because Floyd's realization of the Philly shell is designed for orthodox stances. He blocks jabs with his guard and has right hand bombs deflect off his left shoulder and into the air. The moment you mirror him with a southpaw, he no longer has the same capacity to deal with jabs the same way. You could argue that Conor McGregor doesn't use powerful jabs, but instead predominantly uses his right hand to gauge the distance and set up his left. It's predominantly a tool used to improve the position of his bomb. But nonetheless, the left hand should be more problematic for his to guard Floyd Mayweather is most comfortable with. The Philly Shell, leading with the left shoulder. Crash stop. Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, yes, McGregor, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather has had problems with Southpaw, and yet, what has happened? He's beaten them all. <laughs> okay? You can say whatever the hell you want about the judges and stuff. Eh, yeah, that Zab Judah fight. Eh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I saw that fight, and of course you can watch that fight now on uh, in its entirety on YouTube. Eh, mm -hmm, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's beaten them all, <laughs> okay? He's beaten them all. As much as a problem as he's had with them, he's managed to adjust right there on the fly in the ring 
and beat them with probably the closest one being Zab Judah so I'm not really sure what difference being a southpaw makes but um, if somebody could give me the logic on that again considering he's gone up against so many southpaws with infinitely better boxing skill and speed power or not boxing skill and speed than um, than McGregor and yet he's beaten them all I don't really see how that matters in the slightest in the least bit but uh, whatever um, you feel free to uh, go on ahead and um, tell me how that matters in Connor's case who's infinitely slower and has zero boxing skill compared to a Mayweather much less the people that he's faced in the past who are all boxers <laughs> I started loading up a little bit too much. I played into his hands and um, I couldn't. I, I tried to bounce around, move around, and, and knock it off for me, but it, it just, I was just too tight. I started getting tight and I couldn't throw a number of big shots. Why was Shane Mosley getting stiff? A professional high level boxer getting stiff in the middle of a fight? Why would that happen? Frontal lobe shut down and muscle tension that results from stress or cortisol. That stiffness happened after Floyd started talking in the ring and made Shane's ego talk back. Floyd understands the power mind has in the arena, and if you're too comfortable, he works to break you back into discomfort, into stress and tension, a place where you can no longer flutter freely with flow state. He smashes you a trash talk before and during a fight, not just to increase the value of his pay-per-view, but also to destroy his opponent's mind to ensure they can't fight at their full capacity. He knows this, he does this, he trash talks to break your will, and to make you tense up through stress. But here's the deal. Conor McGregor, too, is a king of trash talk. You know what wrestling is? I can rest my double way your forehead. <laughs> you sign the fight me, it's a celebration. You lean back home, you lean your wife. Baby, we done it. Well, this baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. But even more... Funny how he's saying this, considering he's going up against Mayweather and he's going to be making the most amount of money he's ever made. Ever. So... Ah... Uh, is his girl going to bring out, break out the red panties, or is he going to break out the red panties? Hmm. Interestingly enough. Incredible. The only time we've ever seen him feel pressure was due to him gassing versus the pressure of Nate Diaz's superhuman cardio. At 6 feet, 172 pounds, one of the best chins on the game on top of being a volume-punching triathlete, that's a pace that Floyd Mayweather will never come anywhere near. The Diaz brothers are a monster in their own league when it comes to volume striking. But and here in... Uh, this is just one of many examples where you see that this guy knows nothing about what the fuck he's talking about. Um, something tells me that most, if not all, boxers, much less Mayweather of all boxers, has infinitely better cardio than fucking Diaz brothers, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Infinitely better cardio. Especially considering that in boxing, uh, your hands get fucking tired if you've been throwing punches, which is all you can do. At least in MMA, you can sit there and wrestle around and, and get in somebody's guard and sit there and rest a bit while both people are too tense to move anything. You know, I don't want to go let go of this guard unless I go get my ass smashed, and I don't want to go do anything in this guard unless I go get an arm bar or some shit. You can sit there and rest and catch your breath, <laughs> alright? Can't really do that as much in boxing. Okay, so, uh, and then volume punches. Uh, <sighs> boxers, prize fighting boxers, professional boxers. You're going to tell me that anybody in the UFC is able to throw more volume punches than literal boxers, the people who's... Uh, <sighs> who are grandmasters at throwing fucking punches, <laughs> right? I mean, that's like saying, fuck, I, I, I don't even know how the hell to compare that kind of stupidity. Um, let me just try. I mean, that's like saying uh, MMA guys are better at throwing volume kicks than Taekwondo people. <laughs> what? This, and, and, and this right here, much less the rest of his video, shows you that this guy has no idea what he's talking about. But he sounds good. He sounds good. And he sounds, 
intelligent, you know, and he, he sounds intelligent. But, you know, would you rather sound intelligent or be intelligent, you know? You know to look stupid or to be stupid. It's one of those deals. Let's keep going. Aside from then, in Connor vs. Diaz too, it was incredible how calm he remained regardless of that same superhuman pressure. The punches bouncing off Connor's head did not affect him, he barely blinked if at all at times. Regardless of who he thought won that fight, you know, it was really close. But regardless of that, the composure Conor McGregor maintained throughout it is definitely worthy of respect. Otherwise, you're cheapening, disrespecting Nate's prowess as well. Eh, no, that's that's some deceptive talk. Uh, it, no, you're not cheapening or anything like that. Um, the second fight, yeah, I saw that business as well. Yeah, again, whoever you decide really won that fight, um, he was calm the whole time. So? So what? So what? When has Mayweather ever not been calm in a fight? <laughs> okay. When, when? Okay. An interesting thing about that is that I saw this, um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a documentary, but uh, a piece on Mayweather, and I found out an interesting thing about him. Um, is that when he was a kid, apparently his dad, uh, having some, I don't know, I mean, hell, his, his old family was into drugs. Um, so his dad apparently used him as like a human shield against somebody that was pointing a rifle at him. Used his own son as a human shield against some dude, whoever the hell he might have been, my boss, whoever the hell, I don't know, um, that was pointing a gun at him. And the guy, see, apparently from what it said in there, the guy seeing Mayweather's face, or seeing his eyes anyway, instead of point, instead of just shooting them both, he went and shot off Mayweather's dad's, uh, both of his calves or something like that. And, and then to this day, Mayweather's dad still has that, um, that injury there. Both of his calves have been shot off. And I've seen Mayweather's dad back when he was younger and, he doesn't look like he has much calves to be shooting off, so that's that 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 was interesting. But um, uh, but then again, I don't know how far back that happened. Maybe it happened before or after. Who knows? Um, but somebody who went through that as a kid, <laughs> right? Plus, you know the rough upbringing. You know, standard issue black rough up upbringing. Him and Tyson had that. Um, you really think he gives it like any of this shit scares him? I mean, I'm, I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not any Mayweather fanboy here, but I'm also not gonna sit here and play dumb like after seeing some shit like that, that this shit is gonna. Suck. <laughs> you know, when you almost get shot at or actually do get shot at, like, 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 let's say the Fifty Cent's case, shit doesn't really scare you. You start to look at everybody the way I look at people, and I've never been shot at. Um, almost got shot once, but never been shot at by the cops, honestly. Um, it was a massive misunderstanding. Uh, we're all mortal humans here. <laughs> I can snap your neck and you die just as easy as anybody else. And no amount of laws or rules or, I don't know, a tinfoil badge or, or, or I'm the president of whatever the fuck or you're anybody short of God. None of that changes the fact that if I snap your neck, you die. We're all mortal human here. You're not special. Right? So, you know, there's, there's, there's that bit. Um... Yeah, I don't think Mayweather gives a fuck how calm Connor is, because considering the shit he's been through in life, I'm pretty sure none of this stuff scares him. Let's keep going. I believe they both deserve respect for that fight. It was the greatest fight of all time, in my opinion. Okay, in your opinion, all right. Back to the point. Connor just doesn't feel pressure, and even Eddie Alvarez, who appeared to win the trash talk segment of the game. You ain't no man, you took welfare. Okay, don't, don't, talk, don't, don't talk, talk about money. Don't, don't you talk, talk about money. Then, then, then you took, wasn't you it, took I mean, money from single moms. Single moms go on welfare, not men. <sighs> when it came to the fight, Connor was just pure ice, no emotion, just flow. The man has this level of confidence that's just on another level, and his history of calmness probably will not be jeopardized, regardless of what Floyd says or does. Preparation. I know every single shot he's been hit with. I know every single shot he's been hurt with. I know cell paws have caused my hell of a lot of trouble. I know everything. I'm, I Trust me. I don't care what rules said it's on that. Most people don't know shit about fighting. 
I'm going to teach you about true fighting. And that's it. I land one on the on the dome, anywhere on the dome. He's going to know about it. Does it? No. I don't think he was actually saying that about Mayweather. Um, actually, he might have been. He's at every shot he's been hit with. But I, I, if, if I remember correctly, that interview where he said that was regarding... What, what, I don't think it was Jose Aldo. Well, who knows? It might have been Mayweather. Um, yes, you know every shot that he's been hit with. So, what? Every other boxer that he's gone up against that hasn't known what shots he's been hit with and hurt with? I mean, you, you really think that you've done anything of consequence that other boxers, actual boxers, haven't. <laughs> this is what kills me with people that takes this guy seriously. Red Pill Philosophy and this Mind Smash dude. They honestly, uh, I mean, they honestly probably don't. They, I mean, again, Red Pill Philosophy, he has his own reasons why he's on Connor's nut so much. Uh, but the fact that anybody's taking this guy seriously, like he's doing something that nobody else has been able to do. It's just like I said in another video, you know, be careful of anybody who all of a sudden is just able to, I mean, every once in a while there is one, but be careful of anybody who thinks that a hundred thousand grandmasters of one thing, of X thing, weren't able to figure it out, but here comes this white belt that is just, has all the fucking answers. All these 10th degree red belt, black belts, whatever the fuck, couldn't figure this out in their style, right? But in enters this fucking white belt in comparison, and he, God forbid she, but he is just able to just figure it all out. He's just able to, on, he, he's just able to decrypt the fucking 1024 bit encryption all in his head. Be careful of people saying that. Be very careful of people saying that. Anybody who just happens to figure out something that nobody else with all the supercomputers in the world weren't able to figure out, but they are, be real careful. Not saying that they're wrong. They could be very well right. Again, there is always that one every now and then. Uh, but be careful of those types, kinds and types. Let's keep going. This sound familiar to anyone. I study everybody extensively, and then I come up with their patterns. Um, I figure out the way they flinch. I figure out their first favorite punch, their second favorite punch, their third, their favorite combinations, the way their setups to their takedowns, when they clinch, what side of their head's going to be in. Literally everything. I, I know everything about every opponent. What side they're going to shoot, whether it's going to be head inside, head outside. What am I going to do about that, you know? I figure out everything. Why they shoot, where, what area of the cage they like to shoot. Everything. I know everything. Right, and you had to take clip from John Jones, who is a MMA fighter talking about other MMA fighters, not an MMA fighter talking about a boxer in boxing with boxing rules. Very intellectually dishonest, and it's a very big fucking difference. Very big fucking difference. I mean, anybody who is going to be honest knows full well that MMA guys, they're shit, absolute shit when it comes to specific things. And they have to be or else they're probably going to get destroyed. What do I mean by that? Um, they suck at boxing because if they were to actually do boxing properly like boxers do, um, they're probably going to get shot at enough times or leg kicked enough times. Uh, they suck at kicks. You want to see proper kicks? Go watch anybody who does Taekwondo. But, of course, that's not going to work in MMA because you're probably going to get punched in the face, maybe. You might get, again, shot at. Um, hell, shooting, wrestling, even wrestling, you can't do. Hell, even jiu-jitsu, you can't really do properly. Okay, go watch actual wrestlers. You know, go to the U of Iowa, U of Oklahoma, all them farm boy states, right? Uh, go to any jiu-jitsu school, right? 10th Planet or wherever the hell else. I don't know, Oswaldo Fada's camp, whatever. You can't do proper jiu-jitsu in MMA crisp, clean jiu-jitsu. Why? Because you're going to get blasted in the fucking face. All that bullshit the Gracie's told you for all these decades is bullshit, and everybody knows it now. You can get punched in the fucking face if you try this shit. Okay? <laughs> right. Who the hell was the one that said it? Like, the best um, the best defense against the R bar or the best counter to R bar is a punch in the face? Was it Matt Hughes or something? I don't know who, who said it, but there you go. Um, 
in MMA you can't do anything properly and crisp and cleanly because you gotta worry about all this other shit coming at you. Okay? That's not the same as, as, as that one specific art, in this case boxing. Art, science, whatever you want to call it. McGregor is talking about going into somebody else's house where they have been doing it for longer than he's alive, telling them they don't know shit about boxing, or they don't know shit about fighting. <laughs> and then you go, have we heard that before? John Jones, an MMA fighter, talking about MMA fighters. He's not going into a Taekwondo school, about to do shit on the Taekwondo rules, and then start saying, oh, I know where they're going to kick, I don't know how they're going to kick, I know which head, or where to move my head when they're kicking, I know why they want to kick from, which part of the or, uh, dojo they want to kick from. I pick up on stuff like this. Every single shot he's been hit with. That's right. John Bones Jones has used a similar philosophy to dominate the MMA world. Connor may appear to be a freaking major athlete, but his greatest strength is hands down his mind. Paired with that supreme calm, he uses extensive visualization in film study to understand his opponent. It's, it's weird to say when you talk to your athlete, and how much you're really talking to them, watching videos, or anything, and I go down and watch him train a lot, and he asks me that video, and I'll be watching those videos back from your mind, and to feel their timing, their rhythm, to feel the core of who they are before the fight even begins. He doesn't have a fixed method of how we should attack. Instead, he's always learning and growing with a maddening ethic. He just keeps going with his body and mind until his organic, constantly evolving style becomes a clean counter to his opponent. Now, considering Floyd is 40 years old, thus obviously diminishing in neuroplasticity, his style is pretty much going to be the same as we've always seen it. I doubt the style that's made him successful for so long is going to change much, if at all. And that being said, Connor in his prime as we speak, I can guarantee is pulling up each and every one of Fluent's videos, watching how he's fought in that video, visualizing a way of victory, pulling up another video, visualizing, pulling up each and every video, visualizing. So then, the 49 other people, well actually, okay, maybe except for, well no, uh, hell, even right down to the very first person that Floyd ever faced in his pro career. Um, so all the 49 other people didn't do that exact same thing? Hmm? <laughs> wow, pulling up videos. Um, okay, and, and then there comes the, uh, the other question. Yeah, uh... There's only so many different kinds of punches you can throw, right? <laughs> There's only so many different kinds of kicks you can throw. Only so many different ways you can throw a knee if you are a mortal human with the anatomical structure of a mortal human. There's only so many different ways you can do that, okay? You think by now Mayweather has not mastered how punches works, how you're... I mean, you can throw any punch, but, you know, in certain situations, only certain kinds of punches are going to work. Like, throwing a fucking hook when the person is in a jab range, like long range jab, that's not going to work, so he doesn't need to fucking worry about that. You know, if you're right up on the person, you're going to have to throw like a tight something, tight uppercut, tight hook. You can't be throwing jabs. Hell, even elbows might not work. You think, you think Mayweather hasn't figured all that out in... 40 fucking years, and let's just, uh, let me just say he's been boxing for 35 years, okay, so he's been boxing ever since he was a kid, from what I saw in that uh, video, uh, his mom went and said, you know, when he was a kid, he used to box the, the chairs and stuff, like just whatever, when he was a little kid, just running around boxing shit, uh, let's just say 35 years, he's been at boxing, despite his amateur, however long that was, professional, however long that was, you uh, do you honestly think that he hasn't figured out how punches work? I mean, when it comes to Hicks and Gracie, nobody doubts that he's figured out how jujitsu works. He's mastered it completely. Even though he's not anywhere, he's not a red belt in right now. And uh, from what I understand, he has stopped training because he can't anymore. Um, he's like what a seventh degree or some shit like that. Uh, but yet he's supposedly the absolute best on the planet, or at the very least was back in his prime, right? <laughs> When he probably wasn't even the fucking 7th degree. He, he, he might have been lower. 
So there's 8th degree, 9th degree, and then I guess 10th degree, just a flat out red belt, no coral, no, no black, red, whatever. And yet everybody understands that he has mastered everything. There's nothing more, more or less, that he can learn that he doesn't already know about jiu-jitsu. What makes you think that Mayweather hasn't reached that same level in boxing? Where there's nothing else that he can... <laughs> you know? If I were to sit here and challenge Conor McGregor, I have no MMA experience, I have no mixed martial arts experience, but I come on here and start saying that shit, people would laugh at me. But yet people are actually going to take this idiot seriously. Let's keep going. Each and every training video working with people Floyd has faced. Oh, speaking of working with people, uh, whether Floyd has faced them or not, uh, I, forgot the box I forgot the boxer's name that was sparring with McGregor. But um, he said, uh, he's quoted as saying, and I'm actually paraphrasing here because I don't remember the literal quote, but he said to the effect of, uh, I'm no Mayweather, but when I threw shots at him, I landed. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so there's that. Let's just keep going. Alongside Connor's brilliant coach, John Kavanaugh, taking all of that in and visualizing the entirety of Floyd's style until he's a clean counter. As unreal as that may seem, the truth is, the occipital lobe cannot differentiate between imagination and reality, and to that end, he's refining Floyd's real timing and style into his mind. This is Conor McGregor's greatest strength. The law of attraction's religious devotion to visualization has given Conor an unparalleled ability to etch the very soul of his opponent into his mind, and smash that soul over and over and over again. Ah, yes, the law of attraction. The secret, uh, which so many people have said is bullshit. Um, again, so you mean to tell me that none of the 49 other people, actual boxers that know how to box, unlike McGregor, um, at least in comparison in the very least, uh, they have not done the same thing? He's just doing something also different? Really? Hmm? Uh... You just have to visualize it. Just send it out into the universe and it'll come back to you. That you will beat somebody who has been doing this shit for longer than you've been alive. Okay. But if this was anybody else, reverse this. If this was anybody else, or Mayweather going into MMA to go take on McGregor, none of this shit would be said. None of this shit would work. I, I couldn't come and say all of what this idiot is saying here and be taken seriously in the least bit. Okay. Alright. And before the battle is even being fought, thus unparalleled confidence and supreme preparation, can Floyd do the same as well? While we've seen Connor dominate in MMA, but the reality is he's dropped six or seven or how many other disciplines just to focus on one style, boxing. Floyd's never seen the timing, the rhythm, the style of Connor's pure boxing. He simply does not have that same huge, massive knowledge advantage Connor does. The <sighs> this is no different than, 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 and people know that this doesn't work, sitting there reading textbooks about fighting versus actually fighting. All of what he's saying is the equivalent to somebody reading a book about fighting, reading a book about boxing, versus somebody who actually went in a ring and boxed. Mayweather just doesn't have that advent. Again, whoever that boxer was, legitimate actual boxer, that sparred with McGregor, he went and said, yo, I'm no Mayweather, but when I threw hits, I landed. And no and void is all of what this man is saying. All this stuff trying to sound scientific, trying to sound also esoteric, uh, or esoteric. Uh, when I threw hits, I landed. I'm no Mayweather. Okay. This may be Conor McGregor's biggest advantage, especially considering Conor McGregor is a very detail-oriented, intelligent fighter. Conclusion. I'm confident going in there. I've got the reach. I've got the youth. 
I've got the confidence. I've got the unpredictable style. You can't prepare for a style like me. There were a few more factors I could have gone more in depth into, but I think that's more than enough to convey my point. I believe Floyd would absolutely destroy Conor McGregor if Conor was who he was when he won two weight divisions in the UFC because different disciplines and Floyd is one of the best boxers on the planet. It's an obvious outcome. But when you give Conor McGregor time, that's when he becomes incredibly dangerous. It's not that just Conor is big. Alright, I gotta stop right here because I got a lot of shit to do and this thing's already 35 minutes. I don't even know if you guys are gonna last this long. Um, okay. So let me understand this correctly. McGregor's however many bullshit years of boxing training and boxing for MMA, not boxing for boxing, which is completely different. As some girl went and said, I forgot which girl said it was. Some girl said on the stage, boxing for boxing and boxing for MMA is completely different. So that is supposed to make null and void irrelevant over, th what, three decades? of Mayweather doing boxing, strict, straight, raw boxing, strict boxing, strictly speaking boxing. That's just supposed to make that null and fucking void in a boxing match. Okay. Um, now for these, uh, remember that logic and common sense bit that I was talking about and I told you to keep that in mind for later? Here it is. Number one, uh, Mayweather has been hit with people that are infinitely stronger at punches than Conor McGregor. Um, from what I understand, Canelo Alvarez couldn't even hit him properly. Uh, he might have gotten something once. But Shane Mosley. Canelo Alvarez and Shane Mosley are probably the two strongest boxers that uh, Mayweather has faced. Uh, as far as I know, Mosley probably punches harder than Canelo. Um, Mayweather has gotten hit cleanly. Cleanly by Mosley. More than once in their fight. And one time you can even see him faint almost like some woman like just, just just for a split second just faint and then come back. <laughs> okay. Go watch it. That's that that fight's here too. McGregor does not hit anywhere near as strong as Mosley hits. Probably even today. And I, and God knows how out of shape Mosley might be. Yeah, back in Mosley's more or less prime, I guess, or slightly after prime, who the hell knows. Um he hit he hit he hit um, Mayweather with a shot that obviously hurt him because he was sitting there holding on, grabbing on that shit like like he took some self defense classes. Oh, grab the arm so they can't do it, and then and then position yourself here so that he can't punch you with this arm or something. Yeah, fuck, man. I mean, did McGregor, did Floyd Mayweather take some jujitsu classes? You know the way he was grabbing on Mosley after Mosley uh, went and uh, nuked his chin. After that one hit. That's just that one hit. And he hasn't gone down. He didn't he didn't get knocked out. He has never been on the canvas just spread spread Jesus style, trying to get back up to his feet. No. It's never happened. But yet McGregor is supposedly the man to do it. Okay. Uh next thing. When will you people learn? Did you people not learn your fucking lesson from Rhonda? Everybody hailed her as just the baddest bitch. She can beat so many men, so many everybody else. She could take Mayweather and beat him to in a boxing match. She's just so great. And then Holly Holm comes in and bends her over. And gets balls deep in her with her striking. And you know, are we going to really sit here and say that Holly Holm is better than Mayweather at striking? At, at, at boxing, anyway. Boxing. Boxing. Throwing hands. Hmm? You, you, you people didn't learn your lesson with Rhonda. I hope McGregor has enough intelligence to realize what's happening. He's getting fattened up. Um, and hell, he doesn't even have a perfect fucking record. He's getting fattened up the way Rhonda did. And again, like I said, this is all a cash grab. So he probably full well knows this. I mean, the amount of trash that he wouldn't talk when he f faced Diaz the first time and he got himself destroyed. But you people, this Mind Smash dude, as of right now, uh, he has 948,599 uh, views with 9,677 uh, thumbs up and 1,452 thumbs down. 
people actually believe this guy. I'm sure red pill philosophy is the same. People actually believe that. And the reason why they want to believe it is because they just want to believe in this, especially in the red pill philosophy's case, this white guy that's just the, just, just, just oh so great. He's, he's just the god, the god of everybody. Everybody else is so great, but he's just so much better. We can look up to this white man. Ah, the master race. That's the reason why. Especially with the red pill philosophy's case. Because in any, if, if anybody else were to do this, People would be logical and scientific and common sense and be like, dude, this guy's been boxing for longer than you've been alive and yet you're about to go in his house, play his game by his rules and beat him. Really? Really? It, no, no, you're not about to do that. But, you know, if it was an Asian dude or an Indian dude or somebody calling out me with, I mean, hell, if, 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 <laughs> it's a cash fucking grab, people. McGregor could have called out Mosley, could have called out Canelo, could have called out Amir Khan, could have called out any one of those people, but he calls out Mayweather, of all people. And people want to believe in this thing because they want this white savior. That's, that's what they want. There's, there's certain kinds of people, certain kinds of white people, if you know what I mean, that uh, are feeling like they're being defeated right now, and they got a sigh of, of, of relief and fresh air when Donald Trump won, and now they're trying to get another sigh and relief of fresh air with this guy. And you all know what I mean. For all of you who know what I mean, you know what I mean. For those of you that don't, don't worry about it. Uh, that's all this is. McGregor knows he's going to lose. As to whether he gets knocked out, I don't know. I don't know, because Mayweather has, hasn't exactly been known to knock motherfuckers out. He can, but the vast majority of fights, I don't believe, have been knockouts. Just like clean, just knocked out. Not no TKO business, right? McGregor's here to get rich. The only way I see Floyd losing is if he takes a dive. Like, so many people are betting on McGregor. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, well, yeah, betting on McGregor to lose, that his Vegas odds or whatever the hell odds, blue book or whatever the hell sports book, whatever the hell odds are so high, that if Mayweather just cashed out all of his cash, just all of his, mm, I think he's like over half a billion, um, um, not, uh, not over half a billion, um, damn, what the hell was it, several hundred billion he has right now. Like, 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 no, several hundred million? Something like that. He, he, he is more than halfway, I don't think to a trillion, obviously, no. I think he's halfway to a billion or something like that. Probably over a billion by now. If he were to cash all that out, bet on Mayweather, and then, uh, uh, bet on McGregor, then take a dive and win all that fucking money. And all it cost him was his perfect record. He's like, okay, what's well, the end of my career? What the fuck am I going to do with this perfect record? Ooh, wow, big, big fucking deal. But if I can take this, I don't know, $900 million that I'm worth <laughs> and bet it all on this motherfucker, then they would take a fucking dive, right? You know? <laughs> and then come back, oh, maybe there's a rematch and then I go and beat him like I obviously could have before with the greatest of motherfucking ease. That's the only way I see this happening. Unless, of course, I don't know, maybe he slips banana peel style and then... Connor catches him with some shit, you know. But then again, Connor's not hitting stronger than Mosley's hitting, and Mosley couldn't get him. Not hitting harder than Canelo's hitting, and Canelo couldn't get him. So, anyway, that's my little dismantling of this mind smash, dude. Mind smash. Sorry, man, but you, you. Naturally, no, I'm not that sorry. I'm not sorry at all. You gotta stop, dude. You, Red Pill Philosophy, and all the other people that honestly are believing this for your reasons, not because it's Conor McGregor, but because of ulterior reasons. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Because you wouldn't be saying the same thing if Mayweather, or anybody else really, was to go, on MMA, uh, um, go into MMA, challenge McGregor. You all would not be saying, well, here's why this guy actually could win with nothing but Taekwondo. Like, you wouldn't be doing that. So. 
Not gonna play dumb with you, nah. Not gonna be intellectually dishonest. You all are a bunch of fucking fools. And, uh... You're not fooling anybody except your ilk, your type and kind, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it. 45 minutes, I got shit to do. Later.